Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Hi. Problem one dash ten. The statement of problem is the boom DF of jib crane and column DE have uniform weight of fifty pound per foot. If the host and load weights three hundred pound. Determine the resultant internal loading in crane on cross section through point A, B, and C. So this is a jib crane. Crane. This is D F is the boom, clear, and D E is column. And there is a host with loading of three hundred pound. We have been asked to find the internal loading at point A, at point B, and at point C. So let's start with point A. So for that we have to cut the beam at this point A, and we will draw the free body di diagram. So I will draw the free body di diagram. You can see this is point F, where the loading 300 pound acting downward is shown. So this is point F, and this is loading, vertical loading, acting downward. And this is three hundred pound. Then you cut the beam at point A. So this is point A. So there will be a shear force that will be acting upward. That this shear force is V A. There will be a normal force, and this normal force will be N A. And there will be a moment, reaction moment at this point A, and this reaction moment is M A. Also, it is given that the weight of the uh, boom and column is 15 pound per feet. So you can see 15 pound per feet, and the length of this section is three feet. So when you multiply this length with this 50 pound, so you will get the force, and this force will be equal to 50 into three, which is equal to 150 pound. And this force will act at in the middle of the this beam. Clear? Now we have this free body diagram. We will calculate the internal loading at point A, such as V A, N A, and M A. So for that we will apply the equilibrium condition. So sum of all forces along x direction is equal to zero. Taking the force in in this direction is positive. So you can see only the horizontal force is N A. So N A will be equal to zero. Moving toward finding the shear force that is V A. For that we will apply the second equilibrium condition that sum of all force along y direction is equal to zero, and taking upward force as positive. So here you can see the three forces are acting vertically. One is V A, the other one is 150 pound, and the third one is 300 lb. So their sum must be equal to zero. So V A is positive. The second force minus 150 is acting downward, and the third force is also 300 pound acting downward. Their sum must be equal to zero. So from here we can get V A is equal to 450 pound. Now, for finding the moment about point C, we will take the third equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about point C is equal to zero, and counterclockwise moment is taken as positive. Okay, so uh, not point C. Now this is point A. So moment about point A is equal to zero. There is external uh, reaction moment which is clockwise, so minus M A. Minus M A. The other moment is due to this force 150 pound. So 150 into perpendicular distance will be. It is acting at the mid of three feet. So what this will be 1.5 feet. And this is producing clockwise moment. So it will also negative. The third moment that is produces by this 300 pound force will be also clockwise. And so it will be minus 300. And perpendicular distance is three. Their sum must be equal to zero. So from here, we will get moment is equal to minus one one two five pound into feet. 
or you can say m a is equal to minus 1.125 kip into heat so we have solved and find out the internal loading at point a now we will move toward the second point that is uh, part b uh, to find the internal loading at point b so again we have to draw the free body diagram for this so this is the beam this is point b this is point f at point F there is a vertical loading that is acting downward and this is 300 pound again at B when you cut it so there will be a shear force that is VB there will be a normal force horizontal force draw it horizontally so that will be NB and there will be a moment reaction moment which is equal to nb also you can see now the length is 11 feet so the weight of this 11 feet section will be equal to 50 pound into 11 which is equal to 550 pound and that will be acting at the middle so total length is from here to here it is 11 pound 11 feet not pound and half of it will be equal to 5.5 feet now we have free body diagram we can find the internal loading so move moving toward finding the horizontal force so sum of all force along x direction must be equal to 0 so there is only horizontal force NB and there is no other force it means that NB is equal to 0. Now for finding the vertical or shear force at point B we have sum of all force along Y direction is equal to 0 and taking upward force as positive. So three forces VB 550 pound and 300 pound acting vertically. So there are some must be equal to 0. So VB is positive minus 550 and minus 300 pound. There are some must be equal to 0. So it means that VB is equal to 850 pound. Now for moment about point E we will apply the condition that sum of all moment about point B is equal to 0 and counterclockwise is positive. So at point B there is external moment or reaction moment which is MB and that is clockwise so minus MB due to this force 550 and perpendicular distance is 5.5 there will be a moment and that will be clockwise so again this will be minus 550 into 5.5 and due to this 300 pound there will be a moment that will produce a clockwise so it will be again negative so minus 300 into perpendicular distance is 11 their sum must be equal to 0 so when you solve this you will get mb will be equal to minus 6.325 kips into feet now you can see this moment is negative so our assumed direction is clockwise and this is negative so the assumed direction of uh, moment is wrong and that should be counterclockwise same is the case with moment at point A so it is also negative so assumed direction in free wide diagram is wrong so it will be counterclockwise now moving toward the third part so third part is that you have to find the uh, vertical forces uh, sorry you have to find the reaction force or internal loading at point C so when you cut this clear so there will be a shear force clear and that will be acting in this direction let me show this is VC 
there will be a normal force in this direction this will be nc there will be a moment here that will be mc clear and due to the weight of the column that will act down so this weight will be equal to 50 and the total length of this portion dc is 5 feet so it is 250 pound force also uh, the length of this df is equal to 11 12 13 so clear and so the its weight will also act downward at the mid so 50 into 13 so that will be equal to 650 pound i haven't drawn the free body diagram instant i use the same figure now we will apply the equilibrium condition in order to find the internal loading at point C. So first sum of all force along x direction is equal to 0. Force in this direction is positive. So you can see here there is only horizontal force which is Vc. So Vc equal to 0. So now the second equilibrium condition is that sum of all force long y direction is equal to 0 and upward force is positive so you can see there are many forces 300 pound 650 pound 550 uh, sorry 250 pound and nc they are acting vertically so their sum must be equal to 0 so nc is downward so minus nc minus 250 minus 650 and minus 300 their sum must be equal to 0 so it means that your nc is equal to minus 1200 pound or it is equal to 1.2 kips and that will be minus so it means that we have already taken downward force as negative so nc it comes out to be minus 1.2 it means that our zoom direction is wrong and nc should be upward now we will move toward the third and last portion sum of all movement about point c is equal to zero and taking counterclockwise movement as positive so you can see the movement about point c is due to this force which is 650 pound and the perpendicular distance will be equal to the total is 13 so it will be 13 divided by 2 which is 6.5 again at point c there is external movement mc which is clockwise clear so minus mc and due to this load 650 pound 650 and perpendicular distance is 13 by 2 which is 6.5 this force is also producing clockwise movement so it will be negative the third force which is producing movement is this 300 pound so 300 pound into perpendicular distance is 13 and it is also producing clockwise so their sum must be equal to zero so when you calculate it you will get the value of mc which is equal to minus 8125 pound into feet or it is equal to minus 8.125 kips into feet so this is the loading internal loading at point c so in first portion we have find out uh, the loading at point a which is n a v a and m a in second part we have find the loading at point b which is n b v b and m b and in third portion we have calculated the internal loading at point c which is v c n c minus 1.2 kips and m c minus 8.125 I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.